My name is Wayne Gertis. I own an admin, cleanmpg.com. I started that in 2006. My passion started actually starting yesterday, seven years prior, and that was 9-11. I said, what could we do to change our transportation so that we weren't part of the problem but part of the solution now? I couldn't wait for the government. I couldn't wait for Toyota or Honda. I says, what can I do? And I created a, uh, a website, and what I do is I train thousands of drivers from all over the world, thousands of media and journalists, um, how to drive their cars more efficiently. With that, I picked Dallas because everybody's seen Los Angeles on an ozone alert day. Does anybody know that Dallas has the same problem? Milwaukee has the same problem. Chicago has the same problem. That's the difference. And by the way you drive, you can make a difference by the choice of vehicle that you purchase. You can make a difference in that. Are you concerned about global security? I am. This has something to do with our consumption, our daily consumption and the way that we drive and the habits that we drive. Uh, are you concerned about global warming and the future of our planet? Hopefully everybody that's uh, attending the conference today is. Or are you simply worried about how much money you have in your pocket at the end of the week? And I know we have a lot of younger drivers in here, maybe I haven't started driving, but uh, when you start paying four bucks for a gallon and it only takes you to home and back twice, it's going to get expensive. With that, what we do is we talk about vehicles, alternate fuel vehicles, we show people that, okay, what's on the sticker? That's one thing. We're going to teach you how to try to double that or maybe even triple it in some cases so that you produce one-third the amount of CO2 that your vehicle is currently producing or maybe a half or you put half of that money back in your pocket or you only pay a buck seventy-five per gallon versus the other guy paying three sixty. How do you do this? You become a hypermiler. The best hypermilers, they don't ever turn the key. They walk, they bike, they take public trans. If they're going across the country alone, it's even better to fly in a jet airline than drive your car across the country. So, These are some of the results at various challenges, and I just want to go over some of these. This was at the Hybrid Fest 2006. It's the first time a mass-produced automobile was ever driven over 150 miles per gallon in a 30-mile round-trip course. This is actually 181 miles per gallon. This is a standard European Civic diesel I had a chance or opportunity to test drive. It's uh, 138 miles per gallon over about 25 miles. So I was leaving work one day. Uh, Honda Civic Hybrid 2 at 103 miles per gallon over a 20 mile drive. This was a Prius Marathon attempt back in 2005. A few friends of, of uh, mine and I got together and we traveled in a 40 mile round trip circle for 1,397 miles on a single tank of fuel. This is another friend of mine down from Florida. He's driving a Ford Escape Hybrid, a 3,600-pound SUV. His round trip that day is 70.3 miles per gallon. It's not even rated at 30, so you can see that this is quite capable. Now, these are challenges, so what, what does that have to do with the real world? I test reviewed this vehicle just two months ago. It's a Honda Civic Hybrid. Um, it's rated at 42 miles per gallon combined. Over the week I had it, I got 73.2 miles per gallon in it, driving very, very efficiently, but also safely and more aware. This motorcycle here at Yamaha supplied me. It's rated at about 70 miles per gallon. Fortunate that they shipped it in from California for a special review that I did. 104 miles per gallon driving back and forth uh, around town. It was a lot of fun. This is a non-hybrid Toyota Corolla, and it's got a 160 horsepower Camry motor in it. This thing will do 0 to 60 in about 7.5 seconds. Hot dog. I got 62.7 miles per gallon over 500 miles in that on a, on a review earlier this summer. And then we have a Prius, and this is a, a friend of all of us. Um, she's not here today, but uh, Madison Milwaukee Hybrid Group, Cheryl Apple. She loaned me her car for two weeks while she went off to uh, down south on an aero flight. She says, would you like to take my car? All you have to do is pick me up from O'Hare. And I says, I'll take it. Over 1,500 miles, uh, it's rated EPA at 41, and over 1,500 miles, I got 75.4 miles per gallon out of this vehicle. This stuff is really easy to do once you start paying attention. This one is a special vehicle, a European sourced Honda Civic diesel, an ICDTI. Uh, Honeywell brought it over for special uh, media and journalists to take a test drive. It's rated approximately 45 miles per gallon on the old EPA, on the new EPA, somewhere around 38 miles per gallon. The week and a half, I, I had it over 1,700 miles, 85.5 miles per gallon. It's a wonderful vehicle to drive. Five door, had everything on it, plus the fuel economy was just outrageous. Hypermiling, it's your choice. You can get 20.2 miles per gallon like most people do, 
or you can get 40, or you can get 45, or you can get 60. It's up to you. It's not just the vehicle, but it's the way that you drive. And with that, I'd like to ask if anybody in here raise their hands if they know the vehicle that they came in today, how many miles per gallon does it achieve on the EPA test? Can anybody raise their hands for how many that know? Got two, three, not you guys. <laughs> out, of, out of those three, do you know what fuel economy you got today driving from your home to the conference? That's the important key is once we know we have a target, we can beat that target each time that we drive. And by doing so, you're going to reduce your CO2 emissions, put money back in your pocket. You're going to reduce our demand as far as the uh, U.S. global uh, security concern. And they're all good reasons to become a hypermile. With that, I'll uh, move on to the next individual. Thank you.